Of course, folks. So welcome back to another vlog of the Grown Brooklyn store. And in today's vlog, we're gonna be doing a bunch of different things. One of the main things we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be parting out and adding these pieces from this Boba Fett Starship Micro Fighter. I've been getting a good deal on these and uh, the minifigure is actually very, very nice. So probably gonna be adding that onto the eBay store. And over here, this is the brand new magazine for this month, the ATTE, a very nice paper bag. Really nice. Got to probably pick up a few more of those. But I also have got some minifigures for the Geonosis Mock Arena. So going to be showing them off later as well. So I guess let's get straight into it. I'm going to probably show you guys the minifigures first. All right, guys. So we have got three minifigures right here. I'm going to be showing you guys in preparation for the Geonosis Arena Mock. And the first minifigure we have is just this standard battle droid but we do need to get a lot more of these because these are going to be plastered all over the geonosis arena we're going to be needing a ton of them but uh very happy to have picked this up i got this for a deal with the other two minifigures i'm going to be showing you guys now and the next two minifigures we got are two very nice super battle droids i absolutely love these battle droids they are very very nice i'm really happy to have picked these up and they're going to be needed for the geonosis arena mock so very happy to have gotten these and and I actually know now in around January of next year, they're going to be adding a new clone versus droid battle pack, which is going to be insane. It's going to include some of these battle droids right here and um, probably going to be getting a load of those when uh, they come out ready for the Geonosis Arena mocks. So that was all the minifigures I've got for now. And let's move on to the next clip. Of course, folks, so we do have an order to get packed and it is going to be going all the way to the USA and James has now placed his third order on my Brooklyn store, which is really, really cool. It's very nice to see returning buyers and uh, he was actually the first person to place an order on my Brooklyn store, which was also really, really cool. So let's get his order packed. We've got to go over and grab what he bought. So we've got two Obi-Wan paper bags and two Scout Trooper paper bags. Very nice. Two very nice minifigure paper bags. And um, yeah, let's also go over and grab a padded envelope. Let's grab this one right here. Very nice. And of course, the Valenti's Brick Center business card. Awesome. And the weighing scales. Oh, let me grab them. There we go. All right, so gonna get this order weighed, packed, sealed, ready to go to the post office. So uh, yeah, see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, so we have now got the package fully sealed, ready to go to the post office. So we're going to go do that right now. And uh, yeah, it's very good to get another order on the Brooklyn store. So let's go and take it to the post office. And off we go to the post office, guys. Got the parcel in my hand and we're going to be taking it to the post office. And I'll catch you guys when we're back in the store. Whoop. Of course, folks. So we are now ready to get some pieces added into our Brooklyn store inventory. So... We have Lego set 75344, Boba Fett Starship Micro Fighter, and this does have a very nice minifigure. I do want to add this minifigure onto my eBay store. I do want to keep adding stuff and expanding my eBay store. And uh, this amount of pieces isn't a very large amount, but it will add some nice, unique lots into my Brooklyn store inventory. So we're going to get some drawers out and then we'll start parting it out. Of course, guys, so I've now got a handful of drawers out for all the pieces and the minifigure, and we have three bags right here. Very nice range of pieces, so we're going to empty these pieces out all onto the tray, and then we're going to start loading these pieces and their remarks onto Brick Store. So, catch you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, so we are now almost done on adding all of these pieces onto the Brick Store file. We just have a handful of pieces left to go. We have the minifigure disassembled in the Ziploc bag, and we did have to use a couple of tackle boxes, which is really, really good indeed, and a very nice range of new lots. And the Brick Store file is coming along really, really well. We just have a very few of our pieces that need their remarks. And if anyone does have any questions with starting a Bricklink store or just anything to do with Bricklink and Lego in general, just uh, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make sure to answer. I'll reply to all of my comments and especially all of those that have questions with anything to do with, you know, starting a Bricklink store, etc. So let's move on, get all these pieces put into their final drawers and then let's get this uploaded all onto Bricklink. 
All right, guys, so we have now got the file copied and pasted into the box right there. We're going to consolidate lots by new price and new tier pricing and new remarks. And also, if anyone is finding Brickstore a bit confusing and uploading pieces onto Bricklink relatively confusing, I do have a Brickstore guide. I'll leave a link to it in the description below, and I'll also put it up in the top right corner right there. So let's verify the file. Look at all of these pieces, very, very nice. And we did take the minifigure off, so it is only five pound, but we are gonna be putting that minifigure on to the eBay store to basically get us on to the profit. And uh, 44 unique lots, 84 pieces, not too bad. So let's upload the file, file successfully processed. You love to see it. So gonna get all these drawers put away and the minifigure drawer and the tackle boxes. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, so I've basically been looking at sold listings for the Boba Fett minifigure on its own, and they're ranging between five and seven pound. And it may take a while for us to sell it, but at least when we do sell it, we've made profit and it's covered the price of the actual set on its own. So what we're gonna do is get this minifigure put onto the eBay store, and I'm really happy to keep expanding with the eBay store. I'm hopefully gonna get some more sets, especially Minecraft ones that have lots of minifigures, and we're gonna be adding them into the eBay store as well. So let's move on to the next clip. Of course, folks, so it's been another great day, another amazing vlog. We managed to add some pieces to the Bricklink store as well as also pack and order. And I just want to give you guys a massive shout out because it has been amazing the support and feedback on the YouTube channel and the Bricklink store. And we have finally reached 800 subscribers on the YouTube channel, which is just truly amazing. Another milestone reached. It is awesome. And to see the support the community has given me is absolutely amazing. And I can't thank you guys enough. It truly means the world to me. And hopefully in my next vlog, I'll be able to show you guys my malevolent set. I finally got the pieces that arrived from abroad on Bricklink. So that's going to be good. Hopefully going to get it built, put in the display case over there and uh, be able to show you it off in the next vlog. And also hopefully get some more sets to part out and some Disney CMF packets because I do want to expand on the eBay store as well as the Bricklink store. So of course, please make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below, any tips, feedback, tricks, etc. to help me grow my Bricklink store, as well as if you have any questions with starting one yourself. I've been having lots of fun talking to you guys about you guys on your Bricklink store journeys and hopefully I can just help a couple more of you guys be encouraged to start one yourself. And of course, turn that notification bell ready for the next vlog and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, folks.